What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I ordered a keyboard. This is from Amazon Basics, and as you can see here, Amazon Basics right there. And it's a keyboard and mouse combination. It's wired, it's USB. I actually needed one for the road here, but then kind of needed a replacement keyboard for a wired keyboard that I'm using at home and that is starting to show its age. So here we have it. This, this thing is pretty inexpensive. It's under $14, under 13 bucks, I believe. And like I said, it's everything's USB wired. And I thought we'd just take a look at it, even though this isn't my typical unboxing. So here is uh, the Amazon Basics mouse. And what I liked about it is it seemed to be pretty similar to the Microsoft brand product. So what I like is it seems to be pretty big. It's got a nice, uh, fairly robust hump here. Uh, nice tactile feedback on the keys. Serious clicks, good travel. Everything seems to be built pretty well. The Amazon Basics stuff I think is just kind of their uh, rebranded or house branded um, things that you know they they get from a third-party manufacturer laser there we have uh, three sliding pads and you know no problems I actually really like the size it's not too small I have a travel mouse which I don't even bother taking anywhere anymore because it's so small your fingers kind of cramp up on it we also have a pretty long cable here there's plenty of cableage to make sure that you have a nice uh, free range of motion while I'm using it. And then here is the keyboard. And again, a pretty long piece of cable here, USB. And then this keyboard also seems to be pretty nice, chiclet style. And it does have the extended keypad and the Amazon Basics right there. What it also has is like a gloss finish, which is protected, appears, by a plastic film across the top. So that's also kind of nice. All right, so let's see here. Peel this off, and yeah, that's a pretty nice looking keyboard. I mean, pretty, pretty smart looking. We do have, like I said, a pretty gloss, gloss look on it. Hopefully that doesn't show a lot of fingerprints. I guess it doesn't. It's it's very plasticky, so it doesn't seem to show fingerprints particularly. My fingers are always kind of, tend to be kind of oily. And we also have chiclet style key key buttons, and as you might be able to see here. They are just like that standard matte plastic. They don't feel like super high quality, but uh, they've got a really long travel. I do like the chiclet style as opposed to the ones that are always, you know, I don't know what you would call them, but traditional key keyboards where the buttons actually touch, you know, they're usually a little bit tapered, uh, but this tends to give me a little more feedback. And I like that the keys are essentially flat. On my, on my other existing keyboard, the, the keys are so cupped, it just feels like a very old traditional keyboard and the key travels almost too long. And so this seems really nice, right? Uh, if we were to like go P-A-N-D-A. -A. Um, the other things I'll point out here, these buttons all look pretty, pretty normal. Windows key there. We have a menu button and function is over here. And I also like that the backspace and uh, is, is up here and then the enter button is not a connected button here that we have these two separated buttons and print screen which is always very helpful volume controls over here and like i said key keypad as well so pretty pretty clever oh, i'm kind of curious i've never seen this button before but it looks like that might launch the calculator the the standard calculator in windows so i'll actually have to try that that's pretty cool but uh and then there's a couple other buttons here. It looks like media player. And then I'm not sure what this is, but maybe display or something like that. But pretty nice. If we roll it over, I'll, I do want to show you that the top end is like rolled over like um, an L. So that, that shiny plastic goes all the way to the top. And then you have kind of like a very flat, thin keyboard. And if we flip it over here, we have rubber pads on the top on kind of this ridge that goes all the way over and there's some or pads down here so the keyboard is actually you know relatively thin i wouldn't call it thin thin but you know not like apple keyboard thin but it kind of has some of that same design style to it so pretty excited to use this like i said it was uh, very very inexpensive and i think you kind of get everything that you need with it and i've really been happy with the apple or the amazon <laughs> basics so they're the Amazon Basics products, they tend to be pretty good. And so it's kind of a little bit like Kirkland. Yeah, I, I, I generally feel pretty good about buying Amazon Basics because it seems to me that they do a pretty good job of vetting these things. So I'll put a link to this in the description if you need a quick, cheap, and easy uh, keyboard mouse combo to, to pick up. Peter Rumpand out.